Welcome to our file over drive time. In this video, I want now show you the all the parameters that we do have in our drive functions window for the motor control loops and how to access them. Would usually be done using a live view of the motion manager, but in this case, I rather use a PowerPoint and show you the main controls because then it's easier to highlight the important ones. So let's switch to the motion manager. Actually, there is a lot of parameters associated with the controls. Well, it's the main job of such a driver. The motion manager drive functions window gives you a nice overview of all of them. On the left side, you'll always find the tree view to easily navigate to whatever function you want to adapt. On the top part, there's a small graphics of here the current control loop and down here are the parameters that we can change. The loop parameters here are displayed, but we usually don't have to change them. They are preset by the selected motor. But what we could do is change the torque limits here, down here, for whatever torque you can allow in your application. The limited current here is out of the thermal model, so uh, a higher peak current or torque, which is allowed when the motor is relatively cool, and when it's heating up, we might limit the torque here to the continuous one that is, has been configured in the driver. And on the left side, you can always select either a discrete source for the reference. So here, for example, an analog input for the torque or switch to the next loop, which here is the speed loop. Same for the speed loop, same approach, graphics on top, parameters are down here. Selections are either switch back to the torque control loop or here you can select the sensor. So if you've got uh, more than one encoder connected to your motor, you could select the one to be used for the speed loop here. And for experts, there are additional filters, optional one that can be used to fine tune the behavior. And then of course, again, select either a discrete source for the reference, like an analog input or switch to the position loop. And same for the position loop. Again, the link to the velocity loop here. You again can select the sensor to be used for the position loop for a, a dual loop approach. You could use two different sensors for speed loop and position loop. And uh, then here is the option to apply again limits for either the position range you might move in or the, the, the absolute position limits. And of course, again, the option to select an analog input as the uh, source for the target position. So um, this is the complete overview over the parameters. But while the drive functions window is a nice overview, you can't use it when the drive is moving because it's a modal window. Changing the parameters interactively is usually done using a small window giving you direct access to the most relevant parameters, and that's the control parameters window. Control parameters window does have four tabs, starting with the current loop. That's the uh, parameters of the cur current loop here, usually don't change. Then the velocity loop, and we typically only change the, the gain here and uh, activate, deactivate the feed forward for the current loop. And then the uh, position loop, again, it's the gains and the feed forward that would be activated here. And the last one, then the profile parameters window where we can configure the maximum speed that is allowed for these moves and acceleration and deceleration. And these are really important. And the option for different uh, motion profile type, it's a sine square one, which is, would be alternatively available. Only when we tuned all of them, we would recheck with the drive functions window to configure, uh, for example, a limit switch or to rescale an analog input, which is to be used as one of the uh, target sources. So far about the overview. We will need this for the next few videos, where I want to give a few examples of tuning using the setup here with these up to two motors uh, working against each other. So check back with our channel. And if you got any questions, contact your local Foul Hover sales contact or our MC support team. Thanks for watching and bye.